This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I remap the color pick hotkey C to a different hotkey? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and just have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about remapping the color pick hotkey. So while you're inside of ZBrush, if you hover over anything in the UI and you press C on your keyboard, it will color pick that color. So as I hover over anything here and press C, you'll see that my primary color here is going to be updated. So if I hover over this draw pointer right here and press C, you're going to see it's going to color pick that orange value. So wherever I'm at inside the ZBrush UI, hovering over it and pressing C will update the color here. So the question is asking about changing the hotkey for this. So let's say instead of C, I want to make this a hotkey of J. So anytime I press J on my keyboard, it performs that color pick option. So to change this hotkey, we just need to come over here and hover over the main color option right here, and then hold down Control and Alt on our keyboard, and then click. Now this will allow us to assign a custom hotkey to this main color option here. So now I can come through and press J on my keyboard, and now you'll see as I hover over the main color selector here, it's going to now be assigned to the hotkey of J. So now if I come across a model and press J, this is now going to select the color the same way pressing C was. Now not only can you assign a hotkey to the main color, but you can also assign a hotkey to the secondary color. So to repeat this process, I'm just going to hover over the secondary color here, I'm going to hold down Control and Alt again, and then click, which is going to allow me to assign a hotkey to this interface item. This time I'm going to press K on my keyboard. So now my secondary color is set to K, and my main color is set to J. So now if I hover over anything inside a ZBrush here and press K, this is going to now give me a secondary color of what I'm hovered over. And then if I press J, it's now going to give me my main color. So now I can come through and press K or J and start selecting colors anywhere inside of ZBrush. Now one final thing is that if you have adjusted any of your hotkeys inside of ZBrush, you want to make sure that you save these. So to do this, you just need to navigate to the Preferences panel at the top here, go to the Hotkey area, and then you can click Store to store your hotkeys. You can also save these hotkeys out to load them in at a later time if needed. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.